All right, guys, how's it going? It is Monday, the 16th of October, 2017, and you're watching Captar.tv. All right. So, I was absent without leave last week, towards the end of last week, where I had all sorts going on. didn't feel too good. I did manage to get out one day. I thought I can't stay in bed all day, feeling sorry for my fucking self. Uh, so, I was a bit, you know, like, absent. All right? So, today I'm doing catch-up. All right? So, I'll be doing lots of DKB.tv today, hopefully, providing some topics. Um, and I'll be doing the Cop Talk podcast. I've got all them things to do. Uh, so it'll be a busy day for me today. So if you're into those things, if you're on those uh, those platforms, whatever, as soon as I've done this video, I'll be going to work on those. Uh, now, uh, I want to talk about the Manchester United game. I want to, um, I'm only doing like a brief video. Now, I know you're thinking a brief video means half an hour, but no, I want to do a brief video. I just want you guys to give me some feedback on what you thought of the game at the weekend. Now, Before I start moaning, right, I want you to know that like the league position isn't alarming, is it? It's not like we're in crisis or anything. It, it's what we expect. And I know snowflakes always come out during the season. Whatever stage we're at, they'll go, we're only four points adrift, we're only seven points adrift, we're only eight, you know what I mean? And all that does my fucking head in, because you think, yeah, that's all very good, but we're six or we're seven for whatever. You know, so um, I don't understand why people are flapping too much, because it's what I would expect. And we're not really out of the top four. Someone suggested yesterday to me that we were uh, t title contenders, which I, I find hilarious. But you know, maybe it, I just wish I could think that positively, guys. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know what you thought of the game in general. I mean, fuck me, it was terrible. All right. I said on Twitter yesterday. I said, uh, right, it's the Milan derby tonight. AC Milan into Milan. I fucking guarantee you, you'll see a better game of football than you did, you know, the weekend yesterday or whatever for the, the Liverpool scum game. Right? Yeah. Now. What I was trying to imply there was, right, that Sky Sports spent the week, the week building up the Liverpool Man United game. Like it was a fucking, like it was a World Cup final or something. And the entire week, all I kept thinking to myself is, what a load of fucking shit. They do this to every fucking game. Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Man United, Liverpool, Everton, Liverpool, Man United, right? And nine times out of ten, them games are so fucking dull, it is untrue. So then, you got the Milan derby, right, in Serie A. Fucking, you know, BT Sport, none of that fucking, like, oh, let's fucking spend a week fucking advertising and beating it up. Which is fair enough, it's another country, right, so I'm not going to do that, right. But I'll tell you what, guys, the people talk about the Premier League being the best league in the world. They're having a fucking laugh. They're having a laugh, all right. Best marketed league in the world, without a fucking doubt. There's no doubt about that. It's the biggest fucking scam in the world, man. Fucking telling you, right? And if you're one of my haters, trust me that you know I know a thing or two about scams. Happy to tell you, come, right? Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, so I said to him, and I went, the, the, the Milan game. I bet you it's fucking more. Three fucking two, it was three two with a penalty in the 91st fucking minute, 90th minute or something, right? End to fucking end, Suzo was playing, right, he's fucking good that kid now, you know, Suzo, keep an eye on that gun, doing alright for Milan, Barini was playing, he had Mr Nedder, it's fucking shit, the commentator was like, I don't know how he gets a fucking game, honestly, I don't know how he does it, for Inter, right, 3-2, now you fuckers won't watch it, because you're on Premier League, not interested in foreign football, it's fucking mint, I'm telling you mate, it's a fucking end to end, not just that fixture, Italian football in general, when I was being brought up as a kid, it was like, oh, Italian football, fucking hell, snooze or what, just all defensive and like, fucking great, man, fucking telling you. And I know I'm right, do you know why I'm right? Because it says, dunk knows best on my fucking cap. No, do you know why I'm right? Because I've been talking about this for a few weeks now, well, if not months on it, and some of you have been saying, dunk, I'm going to give it a go at weekend, I'm going to watch some Italian football, and every fucking single one of them have come back to me and said, you were fucking right. Yeah? I'm just saying it's a comparison, it's just like it, it is, and there's never going to be anything that will replace Liverpool versus Manchester United to us as Liverpool supporters, or to Manchester United supporters, right? We love the English game, I love the English game, right? Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Man United, them fixtures, they want all we want to see. Newcastle, Sunderland, I want to see that. Do you know what I mean, guys? I love derby games, even down the divisions, you know, like Leeds United, Sheffield Wednesday, Leeds Hull, stuff like anything, right? Le Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, I watched that a few weeks ago when I was up near Barcelona, fucking mint. And it's just that the, 
the top teams just cancel themselves out so much. And there's no wonder with Jose Mourinho's fucking tactics. Now, you know what I've seen following the fucking game, right? All weekend, I've seen Liverpool journos putting out articles trying to spin it that the game was ruined by fucking Jose Mourinho to, to make us feel better, to make us feel better, right? Jose Mourinho, right, in my opinion, bottled it. And I think most Manchester United honest fans would say that because Liverpool were there for the taking because we concede goals, right? And we haven't exactly had great form recently. Before the game, I thought they're going to come to Anfield and they're going to embarrass us. I, I genuinely thought that, guys, right? Now, the thing is, regardless of form and stuff like that, it all goes out of the window when two, you know, giants of football meet like that, right? So, how can fucking happen? Yeah? So... We know he's going to come and park his fucking bus. Well, didn't we buy a big shiny fucking bus recently? Eh? Eh? FSG, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on them cunts. Anyway, right? So, all I've seen since the weekend is people trying to spin it how it was all Manchester United's fault. We know what tactics he's going to deploy at Anfield because in his mind, a point's good enough at Anfield because he is, whether you like him or not, he's bright enough to know Liverpool might not be doing too good. Right, they might concede goals and that, but they will up their game. They will have it'll be like a cauldron of fucking atmosphere. It'll, you know, be like fucking mental. It'll be like fucking the riot police versus the people of Catalonia. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, you know what I'm saying like that fucking mental, passionate, fucking crazy. So in his mind, he's thinking, "I'm going to Anfield. I'll, I'll take a point from Anfield." All right. Because he knows we're going to be up for it. He knows the fans are going to be fucking like seething, fucking wanting him to be hung. Do you know what I mean? So I think he's happy with that. Now, I don't think Sir Alex would ever have brought a fucking team, Man United team, to do that to Anfield. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've got a short memory. You'll have to remind me. And it does pain me. Right? I hate them, yeah? But I still have, like, respect. If you hate someone or something, sometimes that is down to, you know, there is some respect in there. You have an attachment, yeah? I hate Manchester United. Why do I hate them? Because they've been good. Because they're dominant, you know, they've... It was the, always a team I always wanted to beat. It was more important than beating Everton to me. Now, I'm not going to say that if I'm from Liverpool, because I ain't got a scouser, I ain't. I won't want to be a fucking scouser. I was born and bred in fucking Yorkshire, in God's country. North fucking Yorkshire, to be precise. But when I was that fucking big, yes, I did used to be fucking small. All right? I didn't have a fucking clue where Liverpool was when I started supporting them. So don't give me any of that about your local team shit, because I didn't fucking know. We didn't have all this shit. No internet back then. No Sky Sports fucking news. No. My fucking mates are brought in Liverpool, you know what I'm saying? Ian Rush going every weekend, it seemed like a good idea, do you know what I mean? I was a kid, I was a fucking bane. You know, I mean, family, your mum buys you so much, she bought me a fucking QPR bag and all. I fucking could have ended up supporting them, couldn't I? Fucking hell. <sighs> right, 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 right. So. <clears throat> Yeah, Liverpool Man U for me, right? Liverpool, the two fixtures of the year, Liverpool Man U, Liverpool Everton, right? When I lived in England, they were the games I went to, well, I went to every fucking game when I was in England, but they were the games that I, because the season ticket holder, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, those were the games I went to Anfield with, the, 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 I just had to fucking see. Like Liverpool, West Brom, I'd be like that driving there, I'd think, oh, fucking hell, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? No, you don't get it. You won't understand it. What do you mean, what's the point? You're so lucky to get to a game that... No, you don't get it. I'm trying to talk about atmosphere. You can go to a game sometimes. The, watching 11 versus 11, right, doesn't really do much for me. I want fucking history and crunching fucking... I want sending offs. I want the goalkeeper fighting with his fucking defenders. I want the goalkeeper fighting with the opposition strikers. Do you know what I mean? I want them tackles come crunching in in front of me to get out of my seat where I want to kill someone. And you only get them for games like Liverpool Everton and Liverpool Man United. Yeah? Because they're the passionate games. They're the historic fucking encounters. You don't fucking forget, do you, what happened last fucking time? I want to be there singing about Gary Neville. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah? Cunts like that. I like him on TV, but I didn't like him when he played for us and he wasn't like me. That's fucking good. I like that. That's what football's about. I wouldn't wish I'm on cunt much, right? But that's what it was about. Singing about Posh Spice, taking it up the arse and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's passion, right? So there's certain encounters of the year that are more important than others. Some people would say Liverpool and Chelsea is quite a big game now. You know what I'm saying? But to me, in the Premier League, the only fucking game that would really, really excite me is Liverpool Man United, Liverpool Everton, without fail. 
Yeah? And they're the games that I would fly back in for from here, you know, to go and see each other. Like, fuck that. I'm not going to go and see Liverpool fucking Palace. Fuck that. If I'm spending all that fucking money, I'm going to go and see the fucking big games. Yeah? That's life. That's fucking just the way it is. So when Mourinho comes and fucking kills it, I can't stand that shit. Because at least Ferguson came and we'd have a fucking game. I'd rather lose 4 3, right? And be fuming and devastated and fucking draw nil nil. Oh, fuck me. It's like one of them wanks, isn't it? When you're having a wank and you get right to that point and for some reason you fucking blow it. And when I say blow it, I don't mean blow it as in you do blow it. I mean you blow up your rhythm or something goes fucking wrong and you've lost it and you think, fuck me, man, I've ruined it. It's going to take me ages to get that back to do it again. Do you know, it's one of them. It was a fucking poor wank was yesterday's game. His fi- uh, Saturday's game. His fucking tactics were a poor fucking wank. A poor wank. Yeah? Now, I used to like Mourinho, like, because he was a character. Like, I said on Twitter, I'm Miss Ferguson. And the people were on me, like, what do you mean you miss Alex Ferguson? Because he was a cunt. Someone he stood there with his watch kicking off. That's part of it. You want to stand there fucking... Now you, fuck off, you sky fucking red-nosed bastards. See that watch up your fucking ass. That's what football's about, isn't it? You don't want fucking Wenger stood there in that long fucking coat like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Fuck off! That's part of it. Yeah, so I like the characters. I miss the cunt. I do miss the cunt. I miss Neville turning out for cunts. I miss Roy Keane. Do you know what I mean? Mark Hughes as well. That was another fucking permed cunt. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff from them games. You were fucking ins, Paul Ins. Manchester United came to fucking Anfield. No one gave a fuck. It was shit. Utter fucking drivel. Look, fucking 12 minutes long. I told you it'd be short. Fucking wang, right? So, the media are all spinning it. The Liverpool-based media are like, you know, like picking all the bits out in the national media where Jose was like, you know, bottled it and all that. That's all very good. But why are we concentrating on them? Why are we looking at that as the excuse? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, we didn't win, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, Mourinho deployed tactics. That's the whole point of the fucking game. He wanted to draw the game. He wanted to win it. But he was happy to draw. That's tactics. He can park the bus as much as he fucking wants because he got what he wanted and he's top of the fucking Premier League. Whether he stays there or not, it's a de- different thing. But since when has been a Liverpool fan now been focused on what the opposition do? We knew that cunt had bring the fucking bus, didn't we? We knew that. So it was up to our manager and us to batter the fucking thing and fucking put the ball in the net. But no, we won't look at ourselves. We'll look at them. Oh, yeah, so it's their fault. It's their fault. They defended it. They put the fucking bus there. The snifled us. You know what I'm saying? So we can all go, yeah, 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 it's not, it's not our fault, guys, it's not our fault. It is our fucking fault because we know what's happening. It's, it's not a surprise, is it? Fucking hell, seriously, patronising, fucking local media, tweeting shit out. Liverpool had no chance with those tactics. Well, then that's up to our manager to fucking sort it out, isn't it? Jesus, leave fucking over the fucking hell, man. My protein drinks, my breakfast. Mm. There's a bloke on here who always comments about my burps and everything, he'll fucking hit. <sighs> Can't. <clears throat> Get me drift, right? So, it's not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world, but. Fuck me. And who was that fucking Liverpool player as well at the end of the match that was fucking... Was it Moreno? Who was it? I can't fucking remember now. Someone, some fucking... Some Liverpool player was being too fucking nice to one of their players. I'll oh, pitch out and fucking arguing. Not fucking going, come here, darling. If you... It's the opposition! It's Manchester United. Do all that shit inside where we don't have to see it. Cunts. Fucking cunts. Not having it. Nah, that's it. Anyway, guys, yeah. <clears throat> Let me know what you thought of the game.